Excuse me. I'm sorry, I didn't see you come in. I've been here for a while. I didn't realize. I've been trying to get your attention for like half the song. Ain't she a quiet one? Yeah, and we know some pretty shy people. Am I right? We do? Who? I'm Sunset Shimmer, president of the yearbook committee and editor in chief. Do you want to join? We can always use extra help. I'm Wallflower Blush. Nice to meet you. I've been on the yearbook committee all year. Oh, um... We met in ninth grade English. And I was saying it was nice to meet you then. You didn't let me finish. Anyway, I counted up all the votes for the yearbook superlatives. <gasps> Most likely to succeed, best smile, class clown. Oh, we won best friends! Applejack, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Twilight Sparkle, and me! I always knew I liked you all, but now it's official! In yearbook form, the people have spoken! Oh, good for microchips. Most likely to invent cold fusion. I have a reason to be jealous. <laughs> I'm not! <laughs> Don't worry, Twilight. We know you're a genius. Besides, it's just the yearbook. <gasps> Just the yearbook? Ugh. Now you are gone and done it. The student body has entrusted me with the responsibility of gathering their memories into the pages of this book. In 30 years, we might not remember everything, but we will remember what's in the yearbook. Well, I'm entrusting you not to put us next to best muscles. Every time you close the book, it'll be like we're kissing both biceps. Oh, why don't we take our picture at the beach on Saturday? Everyone's bound to look adorable. Beach day! I'll make my world famous fun in the sun cupcakes! The secret ingredient is edible sunscreen. It's SPF 500! Yeah. The great and powerful Trixie demands to speak to the yearbook editor immediately. Unfortunately for me, that's me. What do you want, Trixie? Just as I suspected, I was not voted greatest and most powerfulest. Explain yourself. 
How should I put this? You didn't win Greatest and Most Powerful because it wasn't one of the superlatives. Hmm. Neither was Biggest Meanie, but that didn't stop you from winning it our freshman year. That was different. The whole school voted for her. She was so mean. Of course, we all know you've earned the right not to be remembered that way. Thanks. We're not having a greatest and powerfulest superlative. Sorry. Oh, you're the one who'll be sorry, Sunset Shimmer, when you least expect it. I'll have my revenge, and then I'll disappear like this. Behold, the magician's exit! <laughs> <laughs> Me. We were actually on our way out. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just finish up. Oh, forgot to turn off the lights. In the dark. Dear Princess Twilight, I thought you'd be happy to hear that the girls and I were voted best friends in the yearbook today. After all, if you hadn't forgiven me, still be the arrogant student I was when I left Equestria. You gave me the second chance I didn't deserve, and I'll never forget it. Your friend, Sunset Shimmer. Number 36A, attempt seven. Success! Oh no. <laughs> Your eyes do not deceive you. I finally invented a selfie sensing camera. It hovers into position whenever it detects a selfie opportunity. <laughs> I prefer to take selfies myself. E. Which beach blanket should we use for the photograph? You mean the white one or the white one? <gasps> This is toasted oat, and linen lamb's wool, eggshell, warm frost, pale nimbus, and... Well, that one is white, I suppose. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Don't worry, Rarity, I got it! No, I got it! I got it! Uh, I got it! I got it! No! Ah! I don't got, got it. it. Quincy the sea turtle says the tide's coming in. We should take the picture soon or risk having damp ankles. Oh, he's so thoughtful. Ugh. Oh, Twilight, you got the selfie sensor working? Okay, so who's ready to take a best friend's picture? Uh-oh, what did I do? Should we do it now, or did you want to swim first? How's the water? Sunset Shimmer? Asking to be in our best friend's picture? <laughs> now I've heard it all. Am I missing the joke here? The only joke is whatever this is you're playing on us. Acting all nice like you're our friend. And it's not funny. Because you aren't nice. And we ain't friends. Wait, what? You got applesauce in your ears? I said we ain't friends. You sure can. be a bad dream. Wake up, Sunset. Wake up! Ow! Nope, you're awake! Ow! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> I 
can see your memories, and I'm not in them. And exactly how is it you can see our memories, if you don't mind me asking? With this. Oh, it's obviously a cheap knockoff of ours. We got them together. You were there, remember? Why is she still talking to us? Pinkie Pie, what about when I came to your sleepover before the Battle of the Bands? Ha! The closest you've ever come to a party of mine is freshman year when you pretended to be Applejack and texted me, your party is lamer than a hungry duck in snow boots. Like I'd ever say that. It really hurt my feelings. And wasn't very nice to the ducks either. That was a long time ago. Twilight, you remember me, right? We've been through so much together. Please. I only met you once, when you yelled at me at the games. Doesn't anyone remember that I've changed? Maybe not anyone. I'll be right back. Don't hurry back, darling! <sighs> Dear Princess Twilight, this is gonna sound crazy, but are we friends? Am I nice? Please answer. Of course we're friends. <sighs> are you okay? What's going on? Kinda hard to explain. Might be easier in person. Well, not person, so to speak. trying to hug you. So, what's been happening? This is bad, Sunset. It's way beyond anything I've ever heard of. Although... What? I just had an idea, but you might not like it. I'll do anything to get my friends back, Twilight. There is one pony who might be able to help, but I don't know if you two want to see each other. Who? Oh... Maybe you can guess, because she's right here. But, um... Am I helping? <sighs> Princess Celestia, the last time we saw each other, I was your snide little pupil who betrayed and abandoned you. I wouldn't have said it that way. <clears throat> what Sunset means to say is... I mean that I come before you a changed pony, humbly asking for forgiveness, guidance and knowledge. Or I can just go and you never have to see me again. I've missed you, Sunset Shimmer. I'm so sorry. I am not familiar with the exact spell that could have erased your friend's memories, but it sounds like equestrian magic is at work in your world. Mm, indeed. The toilings of this nefarious enchantment could portend unimaginable catastrophe if left unchecked. Sorry. I'm just used to hearing you say no student parking in the faculty lot. <laughs> this faculty lot you speak of sounds like a place of great power. The answers you seek are in the Canterlot Library. There's over a million books in here. I wish! But don't worry, you're looking at some pony who knows this place like the back of her hoof. Where are you going, Princess Celestia? To the restricted section. 
There's no... I'm 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 Breathe, Twilight. for helping me go through all this stuff. Don't take this away from me! No way. Can you believe they have Canterlot Cannibals volume 31? You heard me! 31! Sunset. That's when it gets good. Over here! The original Wendigo weather warning from the free equestrian era! Oh my <laughs> goodness! I just, I just Did you know Chancellor Puddinghead tried to pass a law mandating Earth ponies drink carrot juice at every meal? I do. Know that. Now. Aw, sounds like you got to read all the fun books. <sighs> I should probably take a break from looking. <sighs> because I found something! You're familiar with the seven trials of Clover the Clever? Obviously. Why? Well, first of all, these date back to before the founding of Equestria. Look at this. The Memory Stone. That sounds promising. It belonged to an evil sorceress who was practically invincible. With the Memory Stone, she could erase any memory from any pony, even fragments of memories. Fragments? Like memories of me being nice? Mm-hmm. Clover the Clever knew the sorceress had to be stopped and the stone destroyed, so he chased her across land and sea. But every time he got close, the sorceress would erase his memory and escape, but he kept finding her. How? These scraps of parchment. He secretly wrote everything down so he'd know what had happened and where to go next, like a trail of breadcrumbs. Clever. Oh, Clover the... Yeah, got it. What happened on the other side of this portal? The last page is missing. Clover must have hit it to keep any pony else from finding the memory stone. Sunset, what if the memory stone ended up in your world? And someone is using it to make everyone hate me again. But who? We've been out here a while. Time to reapply. <laughs> I've been thinking, should we be worried about Sunset Shimmer? Yeah, worried she comes back. I think it's a shame the way she's treating you, pretending to be your friends. She's obviously up to something. Sunset thinks the whole school exists just to serve her. Water, please. You know, seeing as how the yearbook president seems to be having a little identity crisis, I believe that means the vice president takes over. And why, that's you, Rarity. If this is your way of asking to be made the greatest and most powerful, the answer is no. And didn't we have this conversation yesterday? I can't quite remember. Uh. Hmm. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Memory is such a fickle thing. You never know when you'll forget something important, like how great and powerful I am, which is why I need to be in the yearbook. <sighs> I'll think about it. That's all I ask. I should be getting back to my world. Maybe I can convince my friends I'm telling the truth now that I know what we're looking for. The memory stone. I'll stay here and search the restricted section, top to bottom, until I find a way to get your friend's memories back. If that's even possible. Oh, it's possible. Even if I have to reorganize the whole library by subject. Or maybe chronologically, I'll figure it out. Thank you. Both of you. This is quite a contrast from the last time we parted ways. But you are not that way anymore. With every choice you make, you prove yourself to possess a kind heart. I guess I had a good teacher. You were a good student. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you saying I wasn't a good teacher? Oh, no, I wasn't. I'm, she what didn't I meant, say that. She I, didn't I, say that. I... <laughs> <laughs> Princess Celestia has a sense of humor. Looks like I'm not the only one who's changed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not holding back this time. That's what I'm afraid of. Bring it on, Rainbow Dash. You and Barry just bought your team a one-way ticket on the express train to you. Thanks, nice game face, Pinkie Pie. Thanks! I've been practicing all day. Isn't that right, little baby camera? You're in my house now! <laughs> Somebody's jealous. Please, call me when the flying can over learns how to fetch. You're the worst. <laughs> Great news, guys! I figured it out. Someone's erased your memory with equestrian magic. You don't remember, but we're still friends. This is the memory stone. Do you recognize it? Uh, right. Guess not. But look. See? This is proof. We are friends. Oh. Oh, please. This is the same girl who made flawless fake photos of your friend trashing the gym. Yeah, wait a minute. Is this supposed to be me making such a ridiculous face? <laughs> I'd never make a face like that. Preposterous! Work here is done. Trixie. <laughs> and don't forget, Rarity, you promised to put me in the yearbook. Wait, you did what? <gasps> oh. <gasps> it was an accident. I can help fix it. I think you've helped enough. Money. I'm not mean. Got it? I'm not mean. <gasps> so, here we are. Here we do are. You really want to do this here in the hallway in front of everyone? Up to you. Behold! Canterlot High School's greatest and powerfulest student! If a seven-scale mock-up doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. Where's the memory stone? You turn my friends against me just because I wouldn't put you in the yearbook as the greatest and powerfulest? The powerfulest isn't even a word! What are you talking about? It's not a word! No. What memory stone? The one you used to erase everyone's memory, you manipulative blowhard. A stone that could make everyone forget all the bad tricks I've done? Which is no tricks. Your puny rock pales in comparison to the great and powerful Trixie. I don't believe it. You have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't. Sorry. Did somebody really erase everyone's memories of you? Mm-hmm. And even though we all know you're the biggest meanie, you're saying you're not mean anymore? It's complicated. So you have this idea of who you're supposed to be, but no one at school sees you that way. Is that it? Trust me, I get it. <laughs> I can't believe the only person who believes me is the one I called a manipulative blowhard. Sorry. I 
took it as a compliment. Let me help you find the stone. What's in it for you? No way, absolutely not. Well, if you'd rather go on being the biggest meanie, that's fine by me. I've looked everywhere. Why can't I find the missing pages? I've always been good to you, library! Oh, this is it. The last piece was in a secret compartment. Clover the Clever buried the stone. This rock formation must be somewhere in the other world. But it doesn't say how to get your memories back. <gasps> Perhaps if I had destroyed the stone right away, some of my memories could have returned. But when the sun sets by the third day after a memory has been taken, it is erased forever. You must warn Sunset Shimmer at once. So, where should we start, partner? How about with what I call you? I'm thinking the great and powerful Trixies! A pretty decent assistant detective helper person. and only one memory stone. Seems impossible, but so does pulling a rabbit out of a hat, and I do that all the time. Let's talk motive. Who here hates you enough to erase everyone's good memories of you? If you go back far enough, everyone. Uh -uh. Known enemies, all. Good afternoon, ladies. Y you feeling okay? That depends on how well you answer my questions. Has anyone come in complaining of memory problems in the last few weeks? Not that I can recall. You can't recall? <gasps> We're too late. Is there anything you can tell us about it? Anything at all? I can't tell much from a drawing. Okay. Only that it's falsic, intrusive, igneous, granular in texture, most likely arranged in an equigranular matrix with scattered biotype mica and amphibole, at least 65% alkali feldspar by volume, with a melting point of 1250 centigrade, plus or minus 10 degrees. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Sure. It seems like we've only come up with dead ends, but, I mean, it could be worse. <sighs> it's worse. Good as new. Best friends yearbook group picture. Take two. Number 36A, attempt eight. Best friends! Oh, stop looking at that. You're just gonna wind yourself up. You can't think if you're wound up. Oh. Trixie! I wanted to come in here to see who we're missing. Oh, but we've talked to everyone, A to Z. Wait. Not pictured. Wallflower blush. Who's Wallflower? I'm right here, you know. Uh, who are you? Wallflower. I've known you since third grade. Ah! Uh remember third grade. Not you specifically, but what a grade it was. The great and powerful Trixie debuted her disappearing frog trick. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't realize how much work goes into raising tadpoles. You really have to coddle them. Keep Sunset, we think the memory stone was buried under this rock formation. And if you don't destroy the memory stone by the time the sun sets today, all those memories will be erased forever. How am I supposed to find a rock formation that looks like trick. that rock formation? That'll work. Can I ask a silly question, Wallflower? Where did you take that lovely photograph? Oh, that's my garden. Well, the school's garden, technically. I'm the president of the gardening club. I founded it, too. I'm also the only member and the only one who's ever been to the garden or seen it. <laughs> or even asked about it. You're not really into other people, huh? I was maybe going to add this picture somewhere in the yearbook. What do you think? 
Sorry, Sunset doesn't let anyone put things in her yearbook. No matter how much they deserve them. No, you should do that, Wallflower. Um, so don't let us keep you from working on it. What? The great and powerful Trixie is annoyed and insulted. What are you... not to be remembered that way. <sighs> Why should you notice me? After all, you're Sunset Shimmer. Everybody loves you now. <sighs> Why can't they see you haven't changed? memories? Uh, yes. Wait, who are you again? You don't see me fitting in. I'm sitting here alone. Right beside my shadow. Always on my Just a wallflower There's so much more to me Everyone fooled, but now they know you're still the biggest meanie. You're about to see how mean I can get. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not antagonize the person with the all-powerful mystery rock. I don't like confrontation. Let's just forget this ever happened. Go to race! Hi, what was I saying? I'm sure it was something brilliant, but also, oh, how is it already three o'clock? door open and what are we even doing in here i don't remember is anybody out there somebody open the door if we don't get out of here and figure out who has the stone in a few hours it'll be too late to restore everyone's memories i'll lose my friends forever 
How are we supposed to catch someone who can erase our memory every time we get close to catching them? By being clever. What? I wrote myself a note. Check the video. Yes! It's been recording this whole time! Twilight's camera? What are you talking about? I don't remember doing it, but I must have realized our memories would get erased, so I pressed record. That's my garden. Who's that? Wallflower Blush. Name's not ringing a bell. Long song, huh? What did I do to you? Honestly, I don't even know you! Exactly! You had everyone fooled, but now they know you're still the biggest meanie! You're about to see how mean I can get. She's kind of right about you. Yeah, thanks. Actually, the wise and moralizing Trixie was making a point. You said you didn't do anything. I didn't. I wasn't mean to her at all. Well, maybe it's not good enough to not be mean to someone. Maybe you have to be nice. You're right. Not that it matters. I'm still trapped in here. <sighs> Unless you can magic us out of here. What's the point in trying? You've seen enough of my tricks to know what'll happen. <sighs> At least when the sun goes down and everyone hates me forever, I'll still have one friend in the morning. Huh? And I mean, she is the greatest and powerfulest Cantalot High School has to offer, so I guess I can't complain. You poor fool! You actually believed me when I was pretending to give up? Mere stage banter. The great and powerful Trixie never gives up on herself or her friends. I mean her pretty decent assistant detective helper people. Behold! The magician's exit! Yes! It worked! I finally did it! Still in here. Um, <laughs> um, all part of the trick. Have you out in a jiffy? You know what? Just leave me in here. Just go. I owe you one, Trixie. I will never forget this. Never say never. Wallflower? Wallflower, stop! You remember my name? I remember everything. The memory stone, how I acted, all of it. What? How? I erased the whole afternoon! Listen, I used to be just like you. Sure, I was popular, but I was lonely. You're nothing like me, and I'm not lonely because I have... plants! That sounded less lonely in my head. I'm sorry, Wallflower. No, you're not. You're just trying to look good in front of your friends. And it's working! Yeah! How am I supposed to get back at you if nothing I do matters? I hate you! I wanted to teach you a lesson by erasing your friend's good memories of you. But obviously, that didn't work. But what if I erased all their memories of high school? You can't! You'd be stealing their memories of each other! They'll think of each other the way you think of me. Which is not at all! No! Oh. I ruined their friendship once before. I'd rather give up my own memories than let it happen again. Uh, let her shine. Uh, no! Applejack! Uh, Rarity! Uh, Rainbow Dash! Say goodbye! Uh, Twilight, don't forget me! Can't 
Canterlot? Where am I? Princess Celestia? What's happened to me? Some pony, help me! Who are you? We are your friends. We may not remember you. But after seeing what you did, the sacrifice you made for us, we'd be proud to call you... Our friend! Magic you do not understand, but it is nothing compared to the magic of Yeah yeah, we get it! Light her up, Twilight. Sparkle? Sunset Shimmer! <laughs> We're so sorry. I'm just glad to have you all back. I'm so ashamed. When I first found the Memory Stone, I only erased little things. Awkward hellos, saying the wrong thing, literally any public speaking. I've had plenty of awkward moments I wish I could erase, too. But it's no excuse. I was so used to erasing memories that I got completely carried away. I'm sorry for everything. It's okay. I'm sorry, too. I may have stopped being mean, but a great and powerful friend helped me realize I still wasn't very nice to you. Everyone matters, Wallflower, no matter how insignificant or invisible they feel. Dear Princess Twilight, you can add a new ending to the archives. The memory stone is no more. No student parking in the faculty lot. Thank you for your help. Give my best to Princess Luna, and of course, thank my second best teacher, Princess Celestia. Make sure she knows you're kidding when you say that, though. I'm happy to say everything is back how it used to be. to the yearbook president. How did this get in here? A yearbook president never reveals her secrets. Well, not exactly how it used to be. I got a yearbook delivery for best gardener. 